hello my Taurus intuitors thank you so much for stopping by my channel this is your reading for the middle of the month to the end of the month and we are going to take a look right now at some Lenormand cards that I laid out and then we're gonna get a deeper look by pulling in some tarot so without any further ado let's get right into it get a little bit darker here so you can see the cards better there we go so right off here is kind of interesting I have um, it looks like you might be depressed Taurus what's going on with you guys is there something that has been you know kind of had you down um, the the child and the mouse combination that's what it really is talking about here so it, or even if you're not depressed there's like a loss of enthusiasm or um, even just feeling like um, you're having trouble getting something up off the ground. So we are going to take a look at the rest of the spread here and then get some other another look of um, some other cards from the tar from the tarot to see get some more insights onto that. But for a lot of you, there's going to be um, there's going to be an invitation to go to somebody's house or an invitation to go to your own home, like maybe going home for the holidays to your family or seeing family over the holidays. And perhaps that has you down. <laughs> perhaps that you know isn't something you're like looking forward to, but you know for some of you. But it does look like in most cases it's going to be a good idea for you to accept the invitation. The writer does talk about um, messages and things, um, you know, things shifting and changing in a positive light. Um, in you know, in generally it is. The moon is a very positive card. And so I feel like for the most, in most cases, it's going to be a good situation for you guys to either engage, you know, to engage, in, engage with other people in some way. And this could be also an indication that maybe just the way to get out of your own funk is to invite people to your home. The house and the moon combination can also talk about having success in a home-based business or your hobbies. Um, you know, basically are being able to turn into a homemade business. So for some of you, this could be about the fact that you're having difficulty getting, getting something off the ground. And then um, this is saying that you will have success and the writer is going to be the key. So some news and information, um, things coming through in some way that will help, um, you know, kind of move things along. The um, it does talk about a new journey or a new project in a new direction and being able to move forward with setting goals and having determination to do it. So if this is your situation where this is about having difficulty getting something off the ground, feeling stagnation and you know, like you just haven't had any movement that if you just really, um, you know, First of all, don't procrastinate. The writer advises against procrastination and just pick yourself up and get going. <laughs> and I know it's sometimes easier said than done, but this has actually been, I, I don't even have Taurus in my sign anywhere in, in my astrology, but this message, I, I'm resonating with it right now because of my own experience even in, in getting this new channel launched. I, I've faced so many difficulties and um, sometimes those difficulties just made me want to procrastinate and just like, oh, just forget it, you know. And instead I just kept on pushing through and, um, you know, I'm having success. So anyway, let's take a little deeper look and see what the, the cards have to tell us about the situation here. And I'll move these a little bit up this way or down that way for you. And let's take a look at what the tarot has to say about the situation and what's coming up. Okay, Four of Swords, going within. I feel like that can be, um, in a sense, let me just lighten this up a little bit here. Will that help? There we go. Um, that can be talking about getting a balanced and centered frame of mind. And I, I really did have to kind of end up doing that at one point because I, um, and I was even judging myself because I felt like, oh, I'm just procrastinating right now because I had faced so many challenges that I didn't, you know, I, I was just kind of feeling down on myself and I actually took, then I made myself take the time out to do this, meditating, getting into a, a better, more centered uh, centered frame of mind, and it really did help. So I think that that, that can talk about, um, you know, with some of the, whatever challenge it, it is that you're facing, that can definitely be a good way to go about resolving things. But the Queen of Wands takes action. So this, uh, I know this, you're a earth sign here, Taurus, but um, it could be that you're dealing with a fire sign, or this could be some aspect of you, uh, the passionate, the creativity, and, you know, getting in there and making something happen. That's the Queen of Wands. She totally knows how to do that and has all that information and ability with her 
and we have the Knight of Wands too. So, so she's kind of like more in that creative phase of of um, I'm thinking of like you know how the Empress, you know, um, you know the gestation period, the the Queen, the feminine energy would be that you know the conceptualizing of it, but then the Knight would be the one who um, you know has the passion and the drive and the ability, the masculine energy, the Yang energy gets in there and just starts getting things done. And in fact, the writer in a lot of um, the Norman cards, the writer is pictured as somebody, usually it's on somebody on a horse. And so, you know, here we have the knight. He's he's able to move things along. So you really do have that energy. But it really does come, first of all, from going within. So take the time. You know, don't beat yourself up if you are taking a break from, um, you know, the frustration of things just kind of building up, perhaps. And uh, maybe that break even is just about accepting an invitation to go to a party, to go to somebody's home, or even have people over to your place. I have the Queen of Pentacles here. Let's just see a little bit more what's coming up with Queen of Pentacles. Um, I feel like she's kind of like that home person. She is the person that helps to make a home happen. We have the Five of Wands. We've had the struggle. I feel like this Five of Wands is really, you know, was over here in this situation where you've got the mice and the, the mouse and the um, and the child, which talks about, oops, um, here we have two people. They're playing tug of war. They're pulling in different directions. So you may have had some of this going on and just taking the time to center yourself will you know, really help resolve that. Nine of Wands stands, is talking about standing your ground. So if there's been anything in, um, you know, that has come up that has been a, um, a challenge to overcome, stand your ground, you're on the right track, you are doing the right thing, uh, you know, don't give up. And that person is, um, you know, things haven't been easy for him but he is sticking with it and he doesn't give up. And I feel like the Queen of Pentacles can be the feminine energy that helps, uh, helps hold that as well because she, uh, she nurtures and values things and um, if she really digs in there and you know, is that Nine of Wands energy, then she can hold that, um, you know, hold the space for this project or you know, whatever it is to come to completion. And we have the Hanged Man. Again, I kind of just feel like that goes over here with the, the Four of Swords, the Hanged Man being um, you do come sometimes by just taking a break and pulling away from it a little bit. You do come to a realization uh, and have a, an epiphany that can help break through the situation. And kind of even just surrendering and letting go. Uh, see, the letting go here is, is what needs to happen. Sometimes if we're just pulling and, and holding you know, really hard to something and not wanting to let it go, that can, you know, it can be cross purposes for us. And then I have the King of Cups. You know, some of you may be dealing with, um, we do have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, we have the King of Cups now, we've got a masculine energy here. Uh, if, if any of you, if this kind of relates over into maybe more of a love situation, if King of Wands, goodness, I've got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, so they're paired up here. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of passion here. And if this has been, like, I'm looking at this, you know, talking about it from a work, a project, or something like that. But if that project, in some of your cases, has been about a love relationship that, you know, has has been a struggle, um, this it is kind of coming up here. We're seeing the, you know, the, the match, the pair, the the passion that you have for each other, and um, nurturing, nurturing here, uh, the King of Cups responding in in emotional, um, you know, emotional connection. So. Standing your ground and knowing and knowing when it is that um, you know when you when you need to hold firm and when you need to, when you need to let go might be something that you you'll gain from having the insights here and um, you know the surrendering might be the letting go. Three of Cups. So we do have. Um, I feel like the Three of Cups can really come into play with the with the gathering at the home, it's a reunion. Some, you know, a lot of times we're looking at this as a third party situation. So you could be dealing with that, but I'm feeling here more, it's really about, about the coming together. We've got the holidays coming up and um, having a time to just let loose, let go, celebrate, enjoy, um, be with others. Because if it's really just a, a kind of a state of being in a funk, uh, a mental funk, a little depression, um, you know, feeling sorry for yourself about something that's not moving along. When you get that invitation, the writer comes along with that message and the information. Um, and the, the moon is about an invitation to somebody's home. Go ahead and do it. The, sometimes that's just exactly the kind of medicine that we need. So um, I really appreciate your taking the time to view this video. And if you have any uh, questions, if you would like some more information, greater insights, uh, clarification on anything in this reading, 
feel free to make a question, post a question in the comments below. I'll pull a card or two or three and give you a quick uh, reply. It'll be a fun way for us to interact. And we will see you around.